So I wanted to add a few other things in this video that I didn't put in the other video. Just show some um, clips of what a Sakatra is, what a Griff is. Also, um, there are other th aspects. Uh, ancestry is randomly inherited by a parent, so you don't become an even 75%. You can end up more European with like 65% black, 35% white, and you can end up more African, 85% black, 15% white, and so forth. This is why most black Americans fall along the line of around 73% black, right around the area of a mixed parent and a black parent, you know. And that's why I wanted to also bring a screenshot of that as well. Um, also, I wanted to show the screenshot of um, Black Skin is Amazing, freaking out because I was pointing out that he should have never gone and subbed my channel because he was going to be offended. Just what it is, you know. I don't see his phenotype as masculine. I see it as feminine. You know, a soft round nose, high cheekbones, very full, big, fleshy lips, almond-shaped eyes, no brow ridge, round forehead, and the jawline is actually round, not square like white men's are, or Indian men are, or Mexican men are, Native American men, Arab men. Okay, we get it now, right? Um, men of any race, really, they look like men and black men who are dark-skinned. Generally, they are actually smaller, shorter than white men. And their faces could easily class for a black woman's. And, I mean, there's no African feature that's specifically masculine. I'm sorry. I know a lot of the mixed people have been gassing that individual up and they think that that means that it's masculine. Because, see, some mixed people want to think it's more feminine because they don't want to be viewing themselves as more masculine than dark-skinned black women. Personally, to me, I have a perspective where I just kind of like see it as this. Someone can have a skill, they can have something that's a little bit better than mine, but I'm not insecure enough to be angry about it enough to actually lie about it, you know? So that's why, to me, I'm like, the truth is the truth. The dark-skinned black men, to me, look like females. How am I supposed to distinguish them from dark-skinned black women when they have the same exact face? And those facial features are the most feminine features anyone could have. You don't even have a brow ridge. A brow ridge is very important for a man. And you don't even have a brow ridge. You don't have body hair. You don't even have body hair. You know, because... Your hair is brown, your skin is dark brown, it blends in, so the little body hair that you do have, does anyone even see it? Um, you know. So, uh, that's just my whole perspective. And as far as the whole thing about the suburbs, um, you do understand, I never came from any family that had anything to do with the hood or anything you talk like you are black i can hear it in your voice and honestly you don't think that if you had my job you wouldn't be called the n-word of course you would be sweetie so i mean apparently you didn't grow up around enough white people because you still sound like a black person i don't know Maybe it's that, or I don't know what it is, really, because my mother, my mother's mother, and so forth, none of them sound like they are black. I kind of feel like maybe it's a northern thing, a midwestern thing. I don't really know, but yeah, as far as that, um, 
yeah, I don't have any issue with that. That's probably why I prefer white men, too, because that's the standard of men, because most men are white. So that's why I have that preference as well. Also added to the fact that I wasn't around dark-skinned black men, you know, and so seeing their phenotype, it's very different from any other race of man. You'd have to grow up with them to be used to them, and I'm not. So this is why for me, I don't have any hate towards you guys. And I specifically told Black Skin is amazing. He should have never subscribed to my channel because it's going to off be offensive. And I, he never offended me. He never caused any issue with me. So it's like, I actually agreed with him on some issues. But it's like, why, if, why would you subscribe to a channel? That's going to probably offend you, you know? I think it's a better choice and a better decision to probably try to, you know, not subscribe to channels that are bashing your own phenotype, you know? I guess sometimes it seems like dark-skinned black men think that because someone's a black woman somehow will have some kind of preference or some kind of lenience and give them enough space to win but I'm not that type I'm not because I you have to understand I don't it's not me trying to hate it's just like I don't see you as a man I don't not in a reproductive way not in a sense of my personal interests way in the sense of, for, for another woman, sure. You know, some trans men are men for other women. They're not for me. You get my point. If I'm not attracted to you, I'm just not attracted to you. You know, whether you're a black man or whether you're a trans man, for that matter. You know, I wish the best luck on both type of people. You know, I wish the best of luck for black men and I wish the best of luck for trans men too, you know, but I'm equally not attracted to dark skinned black men as I am to trans men, being completely honest with you. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and bye.